Hey Colleen, this is Vention. I just finished watching your video and I thought it was really interesting. You're in the epicenter, or not the epicenter, but close to the epicenter of the depression, the economic collapse. Uh, that's California. Um, you're going to see more and more people unemployed and you know that. In fact, normal people are starting to understand that we've got a problem. But um, basically you ran into several people who were interesting who might give us a clue as to what we might expect in the future. One, well let's see, you ran, you ran into two guys who were unemployed, well you think they were unemployed anyway, but uh, uh, and they um, were just hanging out and they were hitting on you. Then you ran into um, this couple, this, um, and one of them were whistling at you or gave you a cat call or something. Then you ran into the guy who stared at you without saying anything, which is bizarre. Um, and then, of course, you ran into the aggressive SUV driver, right? Okay, <clears throat> let's start with... Uh, basically, these people are like a clue as to what we can expect in the future as the Depression goes across the country and starts affecting people who are not really being affected right now but um, but let's look at this uh, you have the two guys who were un who were like unemployed and they were like hitting on you it might just be that they were bored so when you get into uh, when people run into this and a lot of people are laid off and whatnot people are probably gonna try to find something to do <laughs> just out of sheer boredom uh, so those people probably wouldn't be like a threat, but they should be, of course, you know, treated with caution. But um, then you had Mr. Now, of course, the cat calling elderly couple, one of the two who were whistling at you. I don't know what to say about that. Um, then you have the, um, the guy who was staring at you. Now, that is a symptom of our society. You have uh, people who are like conditioned to watch TV, like, four or five hours a day, and they're all during that time, they're a passive observer, right? If they react to anything they see on TV, like strenuously, or start talking or yelling at the TV, then of course, um, people will think they're weird. So they like constantly are stimulated to, to say something, but they squash it because it would be stupid to talk to a TV. <laughs> but, um, then on top of that, uh, people, well, they're, they're used to being passive observers. So then you have these, uh, and then on top of that, uh, people are like, well, the average American anyway, are eating just garbage, you know, uh, not nearly enough fresh fruits, uh, and they, are, they eat MSG and aspartame, and every glass of water they drink, assuming they even drink water, is laden, loaded with fluoride, which is a neurotoxin they used to kill rats with like 50 years ago, <laughs> but now they put it in the water, hello. Well anyway, um, and all of those chemicals have a tendency to make you less healthy and they numb your brain. And then you can't react and it's like you're walking around in a semi-drugged state. And then on top of that, the passive, you know, thing watching TV, Put you into a, like a light state of hypnosis, so you're just stumbling around with your, you know, that medicine head almost. And when people do that, I mean, he might have the guy when he comes up to you or whatever is like he sees something that's interesting, which happened to be you in that case, and it's like he's still in TV mode. It's like uh, he's just watching, you know. Uh, he might even know later or realize later that he probably freaked you out and is probably like going, oh, how could I do something? Why didn't I say something? You know. Well, anyway, he's, he might not be as freaky as you think. He's just affected by TV and the chemicals and just the society we live in. Then, of course, you had the uh, SUV aggressive guy. Um, let's use an analogy. I've heard this before. This is not my... Uh, analysis but if you take anything like an orange or anything and squeeze it what you get out of it is what's inside it um, if you squeeze people psychologically of course <laughs> um, what you get is what you get out of them is what they are what's inside of them if you have competitiveness and uh, 
uh, hostility where they think that everybody is like a borderline enemy, they you'll get that out of them. If you get a nice person who's like genuinely cares about other people and uh, and it's like they give you the shirt off their back when uh, when the when they're squeezed, it's like um, it's like they're joiners almost. It's like everything that is going to happen. How do we affect? How do we take care of all this stuff? It becomes we. It's like our problem, not just not just them you know so when that happens they're excellent team players and those are the kind of people that you want on your side uh, those are the people you want to know um, when the when when the economy really starts to get bad so uh, then of course uh, you, that SUV guy is the competitive type and he's obviously being squeezed so that's that's what you get out of it and people like that are going to be you should probably want to avoid people like that if you can. You know, um, all this depression stuff, the economic collapse and all that, it hasn't really affected me that much. I mean, I'm basically just a normal guy still. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. <laughs> oh, what a world. <laughs> so, okay. So, um... I should just go on to say that um, expect more anomalous behavior, more weird behavior from people as they're squeezed and as things get bad and as the society is in general begins to degrade. Uh, you might find a thing like um, a lot of people who would not think under normal circumstances of doing anything like uh, illegal, they might just throw throw that out and it becomes like survival, you know. Then you uh, have people who um, who are like pining after somebody for like uh, a year or two, they'll like take action, you know, and actually ask the person out and all that good stuff. And that could like accelerate their life and that would be, uh, that could actually be a good thing, you know. Uh, then of course you get people who are actual criminals and they might actually become three or four times as dangerous because things are absolutely falling apart. Uh, we could see a lot more corruption in the police and stuff like that and we could see like women uh, uh, killing or poisoning their guys and just taking everything they have or then if they get caught by the police the police would say you're under arrest unless how much did you get? Okay, give me half and then you can go. We might see things degrade to that point. So uh, be cautious, I guess you should, I should say. Well, I guess that's about it. Um, good video. Later. I think I...